Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. What is your name? Anna. Anna, nice to meet you, Anna. Nice to meet you too. And Anna, what do you do? I am, mm -hmm. I am work in Sportline America. In Sportline? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What, which sport line, Anna? In San Miguel. Me and you are very far. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. And do you like a sport line? Yeah. yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> it's uh, not much. Uh, normally. Normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And I see, I see we have Elmer, Moises, and Ernesto. Oh, and Veronica. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know? Uh, see Elmer, Ernesto, Moises, and Veronica before? Yeah. Uh, we are co worker. Ah, with, workers with who, Anna? Who is your worker? Uh, Ernesto, Moises, Veronica, Elmer. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, Sportline San Miguel? Everyone. No. <laughs> no. Different uh, store or place. Uh, mm -hmm. office, uh -huh. No sport line. For example, siempre, Veronica, no siempre, sport line. Siempre sport line, yes. solo que we, are, we, are, we are a sport line. But no San Miguel, different, different, uh -huh. different, uh, different places. We different are in places. San Salvador. Elmer, San Salvador, okay. Veronica? Hello, teacher. Hello. San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Okay. And Moises, you are Sportline. Hola. Good evening. Hello, Moises. Es, sí, Sportline. Es San Salvador. San Salvador. Ah, only Ana, San Miguel. Eh, yes, en Yaritza. En Yaritza. Okay. Okay. Wow. So this class, this class is is practically sport line. <laughs> this is the sport line class. <laughs> okay. Well, let me introduce myself. I see we have some people. Okay. I put a little information in the chat. My name is Edwin. Uh, also, we are in the WhatsApp group, okay? And I put, yeah. I will put some information that way you can copy. Please put in the chat, what is your name? How old are you? And when is your birthday? Please write in the chat. The same like my example. Rene, you are 28 years old. Okay. 
So Wendy, you put your name in the chat. Exactly, name, birthday, November. Okay, excellent. The same Rene, the same Anna. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Why is this important? This is important because today we are going to learn about birthdays. We're going to learn about months, okay? Let's see. And we're going to learn about ordinal numbers. Let me explain a little bit here and I will share my screen. Okay, this is Okay, this is basic or English principiante three. This is basic three. Okay, and we have five modules. There are there are five five sections. Okay, section one, two, three, and then exam in section three. Then we have section four and five and exam in section five we have two exams one exam next week one exam in eight days next week and then the other exam when we finish okay two is necessary to have 80 here the, to pass, you need 80, minimum, minimum 80 to pass. Here, you see the activities and the grades. Hay alguien que no entiende lo que estoy diciendo hasta este momento? Está mencionando que es necesario el 80% para pasar el curso. Excelente, Daniel. Very good. Good, good comprehension, Daniel. Okay. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta, pero creo que es fuera de, de lo que nos está explicando. It's Nosotros okay, queremos, then. bueno, por ejemplo, yo quiero saber el diploma o el certificado nos van a hacer llegar en físico porque el curso pasado me parecía que yo lo podía imprimir. Es lo mismo este, este módulo, Verónica. Usted lo va a poder imprimir. Sin embargo, yo entiendo que si usted lo quiere en físico, eh, uh -huh. se puede acercar a las oficinas centrales de inglés corporativo y le pueden extender el certificado en físico. El, okay pero lo hacen por módulo para virtual por lo mismo de la pan, de, del COVID eh, y por la distancia. Hay algunos que están en San Miguel, la, la Unión, Santa Ana, y no todos están en San Salvador. Entonces, por eso es que es en línea, por si lo tienen que presentar a recursos humanos o lo necesitan tener eh, para sus archivos posteriormente. Pero sí, tengo entendido que si usted lo necesita y quiere que el inglés corporativo se le extiende, puede llegar a la oficina y ellos se lo pueden imprimir. Pero usted ya pasando, usted tiene el derecho de imprimirlo directamente ya cuando haya pasado el curso con el 80. Y siempre queda como en archivo, digamos, en la plataforma. El 1 y el 2 y lo puedo imprimir cuando yo quiera. Eh, no, no cuando usted quiera. Yo entiendo que hay un... Um, de, después siempre. del módulo hay, un, hay una fecha límite donde ya no está permitido eh, que usted tenga acceso a eso. Entonces ya no lo permite imprimirlo. Okay. Si sí queda, sí queda registrado en el sistema que usted lo hizo, solo que ya posteriormente no puede, eh, no lo puede imprimir pasando un tiempo. Ah, ok, listo. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Eric. How's it going? Good, and you, Eric? Cool. Good, okay. 
Any questions? Oh. Ahora, solo antes de empezar y hablar del curso, yo tengo la tendencia de hablar todo, uh, la mayoría del curso en inglés. Si alguna vez hablo muy rápido o explico algo que no les quedó claro, por favor, no tengan pena. O pueden levantar la mano virtual o pueden eh, simplemente quitar el micrófono y preguntar. Lo más importante es no tener temor a decir no sé. Porque cuando usted tiene temor de decir no sé, Siempre se queda con la duda, siempre va a, causar, va, a, va a tener errores. ¿Por qué? Porque nunca va a aprender a corregirlos. Entonces, lo más importante es decir, hey, teacher, hey, no, no entendí, no me quedó claro, no sé qué tengo que hacer. Todos nos vamos a equivocar, todos vamos a pronunciar palabras malas. Todos, ¿Por qué? Porque no es nuestro idioma, de, o sea, no es el, nuestro idioma principal que usamos a diario. Entonces, por lo cual vamos a tener algunas dificultades con eso. Y no por eso no debemos de tener la confianza para decir, hey, esto es correcto, eh, ¿cómo se dice esto? O preguntar alguna otra cosa. ¿Ok? Ya que hay varios aquí, me gustaría saber, um, ¿es la primera vez en inglés corporativo o estudiando inglés en línea para alguien? Para mí es la primera vez. Ok, entonces Vanessa. No, teacher, yo ya estaba. Ok, ok, Eric, oh, sí, ya. Pero Vanessa, para vos no estuviste en el básico 1 ni el 2. Ah, o sea, sí estuve antes, o sea, es mi nueva experiencia. Sí estuve antes, o sea. Okay. No. No, y, y pregunto porque si hay alguien que es la primera vez. Obviamente, las, oh, yeah. las reglas, por ejemplo, de la nota de 80, don, cómo hacer para sacar su certificado, eh, cuáles las actividades que tienen que hacer, toda esa información es nuevo para ellos. Sin embargo, si okay. tuvieron anteriormente, es la misma, son las mismas reglas. Tratamos de hablar lo más posible en inglés. Eh, vamos al día con la plataforma. Si podemos, podemos, si podemos avancemos con la plataforma antes de la clase para que en clase tengamos más oportunidad de hablar y no tener que estar viendo los videos y tanta la gramática, sino que oportunidades para poder utilizarlo. Okay. 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 Bueno, si no hay ninguna consulta, solo para recapitular, antes de que iniciamos nuevamente en inglés, hay dos exámenes. El primer examen se hace la otra semana, que va a ser de la unidad 1 al 3. El segundo examen va a ser en cuatro semanas, a finalizar o la última semana del módulo. Y sería de todas las unidades, de la unidad 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5. En total, todo su promedio necesita ser 80. Si tiene un promedio menor de 80, necesita mejorarlo haciendo las actividades nuevamente. La plataforma está diseñada para que si usted se equivoca o saca una menor nota, lo puede repetir. No es que solo una vez puede, tiene que hacer la actividad, sino que lo puede hacer varias veces hasta sacar 80, 90 o 100, donde usted se siente más cómodo. Solo una consulta. Eh, ¿Todos ustedes se conocen o hay alguien que no se conoce? Miren los nombres. Estoy viendo nuevas caras. No, yo no conozco a nadie. Sí, Eric no conoce a nadie, ¿ok? No. Vanessa también, hay muchas caras nuevas, decís, ¿correcto? Sí, hay varias caras nuevas. Ok. Excelente. Entonces, un minuto y vamos a tratar de, en inglés, presentarnos, ¿ok? Para que todos tratemos un poco lo que podamos. Por ejemplo, my name is Edwin. I am a teacher. I work in inglés corporativo. I live in Santa Tecla. 
Okay. I am 40 years old. Only that. Okay. Jocelyn, would you like to try? Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, good evening. My name is Jocelyn Agra. I am an agronomist. I work in a, a office, oficina. In office. Mm -hmm. Office. In um, a 26 years old. Okay. Jocelyn, do you work with MAG? Excuse me? Do you work with MAG? No. I no. work with a uh, uh, empresa de agroquímico. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you. Okay. Wendy, can you please continue? Good evening. My name is Wendy Ramirez. I am uh, 41 years old. I am an accountant. I am I'm working in political party. That's it. What political party, Wendy? Repeat, please. What political party? Uh, Partido Arena. Okay, good. In San Salvador, Wendy? I, I am live in San Salvador, yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Wendy. Crisia. Good evening, my name is Crisia. I am 38 years old. I work at Prensa Gráfica. I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, good. Vanessa? Hello, good evening. My name is Vanessa Rivera. I... I work in in cafeteria. Una cafeteria. Cafeteria. I live in San Salvador. Cafe, Vanessa, cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Cafeteria. Good. Okay. Good. Eric. Good evening, teacher. Um, I am. Um, my name is Eric. I am 18 years old. Uh, I live in Quetzaltepeque and I am a student, a student. Okay, thank you, Eric. Ruth? Uh, hi, my name is Ruth. Uh, I'm 28 old and I live in, Sal in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Atención al cliente. Customer service. Customer service. Mm -hmm. okay. Moises. Eh, good evening, everyone. Eh, my name is Moises Orellana. I live in San Salvador. Eh, I work in Sport and America office. I'm 36 years old. Great. Anna? Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Anna Rodriguez. I am work in Sporting America. I live in San Miguel. Um, I am 24 years old. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Would anyone else like to participate? Daniel, go ahead. Good night. My name is Daniel Guerra. Uh, I live in Soyapango. I work in Fircash, El Salvador. Okay. In what you work in what Daniel? Fear Cash. El Salvador. Okay. Good. Anybody else? 
Es una casa de empeño. Ah, like, um, um, like, like cornucopia, la like cornucopia, right? Eh, realice. Ok. Realice, ok. Yes. Someone else? Any volunteers? Gustavo? Hello, teacher. My name is Gustavo Hernandez. I'm 20, 21 years old. I work in Sportland, America. I live in San Salvador and I am a content student. Oh, okay. You are in the university, Gustavo? Yes, I currently study at UCA. UCA. Okay, good. Good. Okay, who else would like to try to participate? Good evening. Good evening, Claudia. My name is Claudia Saravia. I work in PBS. I live in Soyapango. Um, I, I have 36 years old. Um, I study in the University El Salvador. Oh, okay. What do you study? I study accounting. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other volunteers? Hello. Hello. Good evening. My name is Eduardo. Mm -hmm. I am 27 years old. I live in Santo Tomas. I work in accounting. Oh, okay. And where do you work? In Almo. Almo? In Almo, Monteco. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Any more volunteers? Hi, teacher. Yes. Um, my name is Elmer Celaya. I work in Sportland, America, in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador too. And in my work, I am a finance manager. Okay, great. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Veronica. My name is Veronica. Uh, I work in Sportline America. My occupation is assistant. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Great. Okay. Good job. Here, I will give you an example in the chat. In the chat, we have some mistakes that we can correct. For example, good evening in English is hello. Good evening is hello. Goodbye is good night. So when you say good night is goodbye, not hello. Okay. If to say hello is good evening. Okay. And then also remember in English, we know I have for the age is I am. I am 20 years old. I am 30 years old. I am. No, I have. I have is in Spanish. In English is I am. And also the other to help you is I live. I live 
in, no, I live uh, Santa Tecla, I live San Salvador, I live in Santa Tecla, I live in Soyapango, I live in San Miguel. It's okay? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Okay, yeah. teacher. Excellent. Yeah, okay. And today we are going to continue with the platform 1.1. We are going to look at months and dates. Okay. Here we have the months. Is this is the correct order? January, February, March, all the way to December. And here we're going to learn the dates. In the right, you can also watch the conversation in Spanish. Let me play the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birthdays. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Dates. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Okay. Let's practice together to make sure that it's clear. Okay. Here, the important is the ending. This is not 13. This is 13th. Tenth. So everybody repeat. Tenth. 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 Ah, okay. Tenth. Remember the important H. Not ten. Not ten. Tenth. Tenth. What? It's like the letter F in the in the Indian. In the end, right? The teeth. Between the teeth. 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 Uh huh. So first, the first word is teeth. Like a teenager. This is for the teenager. The second part is the teeth. Teeth. Uh -huh. Teeth. Okay. Teeth. Let's try those numbers. Those numbers are the more difficult. So please listen and repeat. Okay. Let's try one more time. Okay. Let's start with 10. So here we go. 10th. 10th. 11th. 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 Okay. Let me help you. Okay. Si su lengua no termina en medio de los dientes, está diciendo correctamente. Si usted termina 11 y la lengua está dentro de la boca, está diciendo mal. Tiene por obligación, tiene que terminar 10th. 11th. 12th. 12th. 13th. 13th. Fíjense, en ningún momento, ninguna de esos números la lengua queda adentro de la boca. 
porque estoy diciendo otro número si queda al dentro. Suena diferente. Al principio creemos que es lo mismo, pero esa lengua adentro es diferente. Así que si físicamente su lengua no está en medio de los dientes, cuando termina, lo está diciendo mal. Let's continue. Let's practice some more. Let's see. Things. 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 Twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, 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 pero no le escuché decir 26. six. 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 Repeat, six. please. Six. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Six. Twenty-seven. 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 Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Serious. Okay, better, better. Now let's watch the rest of the video so we can practice. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? The question, when is your birthday is the question. My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the is. Let me put, okay, on mute. So that way we can hear clearly because some is a little. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? You see, here we have the question, when is and then that special day. When is your birthday? When is the special day, Independence Day? When is uh, Mother's Day? When is Christmas? This is the way to make the question. To make the answer is the answer, the special day, my birthday, Mother's Day, Independence Day is on the month and the date. 
Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month, July. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New So now we are going to practice. How do we practice? How do we make the question? Let's look in the chat. How do we make the question? The question for the birthday is when is your when is your birthday? The same for the other structure. When is Christmas? When is Mother's Day? When is Halloween? When is Independence Day? Okay. Let's practice one example. Wendy, when is your birthday? My birthday is on November 5th. Excellent, Wendy. Wendy, please ask Gustavo. Gustavo, Gustavo, when is your birthday? My birthday is November 26th. So, so, Gustavo, so, so, look in the chat. My birthday is? On. Um. Oh, sir. My birthday is on September 26th. Excellent. My birthday is on. There you go. Gustavo, please ask Yaritza. Yaritza. When is your birthday? My birthday is on November 4th. Okay, excellent. This is one question. Then we change for different topic. For example, now we use other information. When is Mother's Day? When is Father's Day? When is Christmas? When is Halloween? When is Valentine's Day? It's okay, the idea? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Yes. Teacher. yes. yes. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, excellent. In this moment, we are going to make groups, and in the groups, we are going to practice. Remember, the first question, the birthday. The second question and the third question, others. The answer is on. Okay, Mother's Day is on, Father's Day is on, my birthday is on. Okay, let's practice five minutes.
Okay. Any questions? It's okay. Hello again, teacher. Hello again. Okay. Any questions? No, no, teacher. All clear. No. All clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, no, teacher. Let's check. Ana Beatriz, when is Mother's Day? Uh, the Mother's Day is on my uh, 10th. Okay, good. Good, Ana. All right. Um, let's see. Sarai, when is Valentine's Day? The Valentine's Day is on February uh, 14th. On February? Uh, uh, 14th. 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 Good, good, Sarah. 14th. Vanessa, Carolina, when is Christmas? 
Christmas is on on December, December um, 2024 and 24th 24th mm -hmm. okay 24th. Ruth Ruth okay when is Independence Day Independence is, is September how do you say 15 <laughs> I don't know. Claudia, how do you say 15? 16. 16. 16. Yes, 15. 15. Yeah, 15. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. This is, this is why we practice. This is why we practice. Good. Excellent job. Now let's watch the second video. Okay. This is the video for using going to to talk about the future. This is in 1.3, 1.3. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. Okay. So the topic is going to. This is the future. It's very... Future. Um, yes, yes, Eric. Uh, I I have a question. Uh, huh? I know I know that will and going to is uh, is the same for for the American people. Is the same for American people? Correct. It's the same for yeah. the American people. Yes. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. But will is the future, right? It's more future. No. Or... Going to. Is the future is the future plan? Oh, cool, cool. Will ah. is will is maybe future. Ah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, for example, going to is going to plus verb in the present. As an example, I am going to work on Saturday. This is going to be the idea in the present this is going to you use i am going to and then the activity for example maybe moises says my birthday ah i am going to celebrate my birthday ah this is in the future here we can see the example okay i am going to celebrate my birthday this is for future all when you say going to is future Okay. I am going to invite my friends. Ah, this is for the future. Okay. All is. Friends. I wanted to have that. But... Okay. Let's skip. So, how do we use? Always the same. Going to. In the question, I put the verb to be. For example, are you going to? And then the action. 
and the compliments. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Are you going to work this weekend? So in the chat, for the question, I put the question, are you going to Are you going to work on Saturday? Daniel, do you have a question? No, teacher. Okay, I see the hand raised, but maybe it's from the last activity. Okay. So you were wrong, wrong. No problem, no problem. Okay. So we are going to practice different questions. And for the answers, the answers are easy. The answers we can have. Two, we can have yes, I am, or no, I am not. As an example, I tell Daniel, Daniel, are you going to work on Saturday? Uh, yes, I work Saturday. Hey, exactly. Yes, I am. Or yes, I work on Saturday. Excellent, Daniel. Moises, are you going to watch Netflix on Sunday? No, no, I don't. No, no, no. I Look in the chat. Look in the chat. No, I... No, I watch... No, look in the chat, Moy. Look in the chat. No, I. No, I watch. No, in the chat. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am. Excellent. No, no, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Excellent. This is the correct. Okay. Okay. Eric, Eric Cardosa, are you going to drink? Tell me. Are you going to drink beer on Saturday? No, I not. Eric is not is no invent. It's the truth. Is the real teacher? Ah, Eric. Okay. Okay, Eric. <laughs> question. Question. Ruth. Teacher. Yes. Question. Ruth. No, I not. I am not. Es no está como que doblemente diciendo no. 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 Ah. No. No lo haré. This is, oh. I am not. Mm -hmm. I am not. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ruth, are you going to church on Sunday? No. No, I'm not. No. No. Church. The church. Look, look at the video. Look at the video. Church. Oh, 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 no, no, hey, definitivamente, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, okay. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> okay, ¿Qué es lo importante para poder hablar, es importante los verbos, sin los verbos no pueden escribir y hacer nada, pero con los verbos ya podemos hablar de todo, el futuro es, are you going to, are you going to work? Are you going to study English? Are you going to drink? Are you going to visit? Ooh, only are you going to, okay? Let's practice with our partners. So with our partners, let's practice the questions for the future and making the answers, yes or no, okay? Let's try.
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you. And a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Hello again. Eric, give me an example. Hola? An example, Eric. Ah, are you are you going to uh, the movie theater tomorrow? Jocelyn, and the answer? Excuse me, I don't listen. Ah, cool. Uh, are you going to the movie theater tomorrow? Yes, I am. Cool. Excellent. Good. Now, this is the idea. The question, are you going to? And the answer, yes or no. This is the short answer. Tomorrow, we are going to practice making bigger, longer answers. For example, are you going to the movie theater? Yes, I am going to see Fast and Furious. Yes, I am going to Cinemark, La Gran Villa. Yes, I am going to big answers okay tomorrow right yes today today we learn birthdays numbers and dates the the months okay the months january february march the numbers. remember to describe the birthdays and going to and going to for homework for homework, is necessary complete 1.4, the knowledge check. 1.4, you are going to listen for going to. What 
the activities. Here we have activities, Michael, Kevin, uh, Robert, okay? We have different activities. They listen and Michelle and complete. What are they going to do? Only four people, okay? It's okay the homework? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank, yes, of course. Thank you for coming. And tomorrow I see you and we practice more going to. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, Tisha. Okay. 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 Good, Good night. 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 Good